St. Louis Cemetery No. 1 St. Louis Cemetery No. 1 is perhaps the most famous of New Orleans cemeteries. Visitors have witnessed phantom figures, Civil War ghosts and yellow fever victims restlessly stalking through the maze of crypts, Senate said, but perhaps, the most well-known spirit is that of Marie Laveau, the city's own voodoo queen. She is often seen walking the grounds. People mark 3x on her tomb, believing that doing so will cause her to grant them a wish. Stull Cemetery, Kansas, The Gates to Hell Stull Cemetery and the abandoned church that is located in the tiny, nearly forgotten Kansas town of Stull, in addition to its human inhabitants. The town is also home to a number of legends and strange tales that are linked to the crumbling old church and the overgrown cemetery that can be found atop Stull's Emanuel Hill. For years, stories of witchcraft, ghosts and supernatural happenings have surrounded the old graveyard. It is a place that some claim is one of the seven gateways to hell. And the fact that the crumbling church finally fell down on Good Friday, also good fodder. Rumor has it that, if you go up and knock on a rock in the rubble piles, as if you were knocking on a door, the devil himself will rise up and answers. Westminster Presbyterian Church and Cemetery, Maryland it's fitting that the cemetery Edgar Allan Poe now calls home is considered one of the scariest in America. Poe's ghost has been spotted, of course. But another freaky story is that of the Cambridge skull. A minister was murdered, you see, but his head never stopped screaming, even after he died. The murderers finally gagged the skull, and buried it in a block of cement to attempt to muffle it. But if you listen closely, it can still be heard. If you're one of the lucky ones to hear it, the story goes, you'll never get the sound out of your head and will likely be driven insane. Bachelors Grove Cemetery, Chicagoland Bachelors Grove Cemetery has long been abandoned and vandalized. That fact alone is enough to make you feel uneasy and you walk through the gates. Since the 1970s many people have claimed to have had paranormal experiences inside the cemetery. Several people have seen a phantom farmhouse. As you begin to approach the farmhouse, it appears to shrink before it vanishes altogether. This isn't the only inanimate phantom the cemetery is home to. Ghost vehicles have also been reported inside the cemetery's gates. Other strange reports from Bachelors Grove have included unexplained lights, faces in the mist and faces that appear on tombstones only to disappear shortly thereafter. Howard Street Cemetery, Salem Salem is probably one of the most haunted places in the U.S. The oldest cemetery there is no exception. In fact, one famous resident of the grounds wasn't just buried there, he died there too. Giles Corey was the only person to die by torture during the witch trials. Corey refused to admit guilt or innocence regarding his use of witchcraft, because either way he answered, would allow city officials to take his property. So the sheriff made Corey lie down in a hole in the middle of the field, and then added stones to a board placed across his chest. More stones were slowly added until Corey was eventually crushed to death two days later. Now Corey is said to appear in the cemetery right before tragedy strikes the town. He was supposedly seen just days before the Great Fire of 1914. Resurrection Cemetery, Chicago Resurrection Cemetery is one of the largest cemeteries in North America. You might have heard this ghost story before, and this might be the place it originated. Many years ago, she was hit and killed by a car, and has spent the last 80 years hitchhiking to the cemetery. When a kindly driver accepts and pulls up to drop her off at the gates, she vanishes. In Chicago, this gal is called Resurrection Mary. Many people have reported seeing her or almost hitting her in the road, and some people have even claimed to have picked her up. While it sounds like one of those urban legends, 
there may be an element of truth. In 1927, a girl named Anna Norcus did die in a car accident on her way home from the O. Henry Ballroom. Cemetery Hill, Gettysburg, Pa. This might be one of the only places where you can experience a ghost smell. Because so many died at the Battle of Gettysburg, it was impossible to clear the bodies and get them buried in a timely fashion. For quite some time after, people couldn't walk near Cemetery Hill without something to mask the stink of death, so they dipped handkerchiefs in peppermint and vanilla and held the cloth to their noses. To this day, some people report smelling peppermint at Cemetery Hill. Boot Hill, Tombstone, Arizona Boot Hill Cemetery was established in Tombstone, Arizona around 1879 and was closed in 1884 when a new city cemetery was opened. Before it closed, however, it saw the burials of approximately 300 persons. Many who died tragically and unexpectedly, or with their boots on. After its official closure, a few outlaws, among others, were allowed to be buried there. Today, it is a tourist hot spot. But for those wanting a more ethereal experience as well, once a tourist was taking a picture of his friend, in Old West Garrett Boot Hill, and didn't notice anything out of the ordinary until the film was developed, revealing a man in a cowboy hat, who appeared to be rising out of the ground. The Hollywood Forever Cemetery it is the final resting place for many Hollywood stars. It was founded in 1899, originally named Hollywood Memorial Park Cemetery. With a hundred acres of land to maintain, the owners decided to sell a portion of the land to Paramount and RKO Studios in 1920. The Paramount Studio, which is still in operation, stands as a backdrop to the cemetery today. The place is known to have a few ghosts who visit too. Some of the ghosts that have been seen include Clifton Webb, Virginia, and William Randolph Hearst. Now, Hearst isn't actually buried at Hollywood forever, but people have reported seeing him visiting the grave of his old mistress, Marion Davis. Union Cemetery in Easton, CT. This cemetery is an oldie dating back to the 1600s so it's easy to believe that it could be haunted. The graveyard is also known as the White Lady Cemetery because of the famous ghost that reportedly haunts it. As you might suspect, a mysterious ghost adorned in white roams the grounds of the cemetery, and sometimes even ventures beyond the gates a bit and into the road. Like Resurrection Mary, drivers have reported hitting her, when she appeared out of nowhere in the road. Other people have told stories of a set of red eyes peering at them from the confines of a bush or a tree.